YouTube. Today, I'm just about going to work right now, but my daughter say, Dad, can you check my car? Something's making a weird noise. So, I would jack this full, uh, this truck up and check it underneath this. I would start the engine. It sounds like a, a muffler leak somewhere down underneath. So I would check this, jack this up and check it out. See what's what's wrong with this car. I will dress up like nice like this. I don't want to take off take off my clothes, and also I don't want to work on the car. But you know the kid. Now the day. They just drive with the car and they don't know how to take care of the car so I purchased the car for them and I had to fix the car how crazy I am right now <laughs> okay I then put the jack in the position okay that's how it I will choke the tire, prevent something roll down on me. This is how I gotta use the choke the tire. I'll put it right here. So prevent the car rolling down. I just go up a little bit higher. All right, should be okay now. Let me, oh. Let me start the engine and I will use this bad roll underneath and check it out what's wrong. Also, I put the putty right there to clip it. 
should be solved the problem. We'll be saving some of my money. Alright folks, I will go to the auto car right now and buy the stuff and so that I come back and we'll show you how to do it. Yes. Toyota 4Runner in 2006. Look at that, I bought this car. It looked like brand new. I bought it for the hip car and she driving to college. She broke the bumper. So I need to patch the bumper like that. Use my rabbit gun to... Uh... And this I put the silicone. <laughs> That's... She, she tear off the whole bumper and she went back to the place and again and next day and she go pick up the bumper cover and bring it home wow This is a nice looking car, nice looking truck. She went to college in uh, State uh, Lake Superior State University. And uh, up there it snow a lot. That's why I bought her the, this truck. But now she's done with the college. Time to shut off the engine. Oh, all right. I will run to the auto parts, buy some part, and come back to work it out. Okay, I ran to the auto zone and got this pipe here, which is two and one eight inch. So I need to get the clamp two and one eight. And also it's got the JB well muffler seal. So all, all of this not cost you more than a twenty dollar. And I will go underneath and make sure the pipe was two inch. It's not two inch. I'll be screwed. I right, I will take this little pipe here to the auto uh, underneath. See how's it look. Okay, I think it's the same side. I really don't know, but it looked the same. And the idea was it's caught with that hole. It's I think this this hole needs to be caught with too. So I will cut that little support right here. And uh, let me see. I will clean it up, see, before I cut it. Uh, that little support. Alright. I will grind out this. And cut this pipe. Split in half. And shuffle this cover the, the whole thing that the idea all right let's do it okay right there I'm gonna do a better view see the idea I will cut this support right here and grind it off and so this piece could I will split this in half and shuffle that one and, and cover that hole and this hole. Alright let's do it folks. I will first I will get my cutter and a cleaner and clean to see if the hole here or not. It looked like but it's not I don't really know until I clean it like this eight the game's not over until the fat lady's singing. I, I will see that.
Let's see. I tried to zoom it in. A little bit and see. Okay. That you already know that this hole. So I will use my cutter to cut that tap off and grind it, make it flat. But for this I need to clean all the to roll it. All the brush. Better than this. Okay, I will cut this. See, all right. I don't have the right blade, so I'm gonna use my grinder. Go. I think that's gonna get have a hole, but we'll so like dry it too. It's it's not a hole right there, so it's a good idea just cover the whole thing like this. See? The idea is we'll split this pipe and cut the piece, take a piece off, and shuffle in there and clamp it. That's a permanent fix. I will grind a little bit more. Ooh, ooh, that shit is hot. I will use this wise to clamp this this wise is uh one of my co-worker he gave it to me so I I had one but it's too old it's not working right 
and this one also too old but it seems like it's still working so I keep this before I work it on this one that I not really need to be oil this white seal. There you go, almost. There you go. The idea I will climb all the way down because I will cut the top part only. So, there you go. That's good enough. Alright. I'm sweat now. this part a little bit more I think I turn this way Got it. I'm confusing about this slice. <laughs> Made me confused. I will grind it and make it smoother. look okay now let's put it there see how it look okay okay right now I use a JB Wilt muffler seal JB Wilt 
the muffler seal it. That's a high temperature. I will take this and I I I will squirt with that much to the uh, pipe here. Then I use my pop cycle stick, split. I don't want to get, I don't, I don't want this thing get on my hand. I think I need a little bit more. All right, it should be okay. Do it evenly like this. All right, that should be good. And I will put this over here for now. I will put, I still see that little shiny spot right there. So I need to call with that little shiny spot. Okay. All right, let's do it, folk. Okay. Okay, now I just put this one here and try to uh, push. you go so now okay, everything will work see that's better I just only put one clamp because uh, it's a short one Right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now, it's I was get rush. Let's see. It's not this. Oh, right. I'm getting in a hurry. Get it done. Before, get in a hurry. Get it done. Cause I don't want the. have the standard uh, rushes so I use the uh, uh, matrix which is the 13 millimeter No, I think it should be okay. Right now, all I have to do is clean up all the uh, you know, all the excess piece, uh, piece here. Let me go get the...
All right, that's it, folk. The how you fix your muffler, and you patch it the hole. And I will wait until it's get harnessed or dry. Tomorrow I will spray the you know the heat resistant paint, so prevent rusting. Alright, YouTube, I'm checking to make sure everything's okay. I'm tired right now. I need to uh, go and take a shower and then go to work. Alright, that's it how you are uh, repaired your, uh, you, uh, your leaking muffler. You don't want to take this to the muffler shop and let them patch a little hole like what I just showed you. Last time I guarantee those folk in the muffler shop they know how to make their money. So they're not gonna go, they're not gonna patch the hole. All they do is just cut the whole pipe and put another, uh, cut the pipe and put another uh, piece on. That's how they do, they know how to make their money. And they're not gonna charge you cheap either. So if you like this video, Please like, share, and subscribe. That's it for today, folks. We'll see you next time.